digital envelope right and again you will be easily understanding what is the concept behind this digital envelope what we are calling the digital envelope and this is actually used with the your key exchange right so we how we were using the uh, exchanging the key first right so there was the concept like you are having your secret key so secret key is used in the symmetric one right so what is happening uh, there is your two candidates who are trying to exchange the key first is you know let's just say there was the there was the vivek and then this version so what will be happening if vivek want to send message to this version so first thing is vivek will be obtaining the copy of the version's key public key right Sudarshan's public key Vivek will be obtaining. Now, using that, what he is going to do, you know, uh, secret key cipher. They are going to use the secret key cipher. So, what they are going to do is uh, uh, the key, the secret key will be called your session key, right, for a particular session. So, what you will going to do, that particular session key is going to be encrypted with the public key of the Sudarshan, which is kept by the uh, public key of your Sudarshan. Using this, you will be encrypting this session key and then sending it to the uh, your Sudarshan. Now, when Sudarshan will be having this, Sudarshan can easily decrypt this because he has his private key, obviously, right? So, you know, that's what you can do. So, there will be the session key plus some message in that particular uh, your you know digital envelope. So, what this will be calling, we will be calling this the digital envelope. So, this particular encrypted session key with the message is going to be called the your digital envelope that is the digital envelope concept and this is the method of your key exchange one of the methods right so this is the digital envelope method so combination of that session key plus message is going to be called your digital envelope right so this is the one thing then uh, you know uh, digital certificate it will be coming later on but just to tell you that Digital certificate is kind of the envelope for your public key, right? Okay, so when you are using this thing, so this is going to provide or uh, give you the way to exchange the your public key, right? People letting you know that uh, you are a valid entity. Usually, where you use there, we use these digital certificate like with your web server. To, uh, verifying its identity that this is a legitimate web server you can trust it okay and trust is going to be very important factor in the digital certificate so there is you know completely pki right public key infrastructure dedicated to your digital certificate and those there is going to be terms like certification authority cas root cas you know uh, ca server all these things are going to be there so you know, all this is in the next chapter after this thing uh, after your encryption one so, this is the few things and simply we can use certificate for uh, users in the, a particular person's identification or authentication you know for the particular entities authentication your web servers authentication there we will be using the your digital server most of the time or uh, digital certificate most of the time 